Hello, in this episode we're looking at weight painting. We're looking at how to change the influence of the bones. So you can see here, if I rotate this, this top bit squishes in and his chest area and stomach area comes out with the bone. And we don't really want that to happen. So what we need to do is paint the weights or change the weights, the influence of this bone on these vertices around here, which is called weight painting. So in order to do this, I must make sure I'm I select the armature in pose mode. So I select my um, armature, make sure my armature is selected up here, and then go to pose mode. Okay, then I can select my main mesh or my character with right click and then change that to weight painting. And then the last bone I selected uh, will be, will show how much weight it's got. So blue is no weight red is full weight and green is in the middle and you can see from the chart here the differences so what i need to do is these light blue areas around here have some influence uh, this bone has some influence on them and i want to take that away so if i move in at the moment over here i've got weight one so if i paint it will paint in red so i'll undo that i don't want that i will actually want to change this to weight zero and make sure you're on mix and i've got strength up to 100 so when I paint, it will paint fully weight zero, which is blue. So fully being strength one, weight zero there, and that's painting blue. So I'll undo that again. And mix, make sure it goes over the top of what, of what I've already drawn. So make sure it's on mix. There's lots of different things here, but I'm not gonna go into them. I'm just gonna give you a quick guide. So let's paint these so that they don't have any influence right up around here. And what you must remember is that you're painting the vertices. So these little points you can see here, uh, you, that's what you're painting. You're not painting faces, you're painting onto the vertices. So if, for example, I change this to weight one and try and paint in the middle of this face here, it's not working, but if I paint on the vertices, it works. Anyway, let's go back to paint zero and get rid of the influence of these. You can select different bones as normal with right click and you can press R to rotate. Let's see how that works. So I can press on this and press rotate now. And I've missed a bit down here. So you can see I'm painting that off and it doesn't look great around here. I want some influence, but not much. So at that point I can change the weight just to a little bit there and then fill this in. And because this is a low poly character, it's actually quite difficult to weight paint. The more vertices you have, uh, the easier it is and you can get a slow transition and um, it probably looks a little bit better than this. Perhaps if I turn this one down a little bit, there we go, and now I rotate. It's not too bad, perhaps that back and the shoulder is a bit too much, so we shall take that off. So down to zero, make sure we got rid of all this bit here, and let's rotate it again, and there's a bit down the bo bottom here that we wanna get rid of, and how are we looking now? It's not too bad. It's not brilliant, but it's not too bad. And this is a quick tutorial. Uh, you need to experiment with this and it does take time to uh, get used to. So our weight paint a, a few other bits. So let's say this, um, the chest, for example, the chest bone here is relatively okay. But this leg over here, if I do this, you can see it's moving the other leg a little bit and it's moving the stomach a little bit. So we need to fix that and you can leave it rotated slightly and paint on. So I want to paint zero on. So you want to get rid of the influence around here and on the other leg and maybe around his bum, around here. Okay, so if it's turned slightly, you can actually see the influence that's happening. So that helps you. It looks a bit strange. It is a funny caricature and uh, there's not many vertices to play with. So it is tricky, but let's see what it's actually going to look like when we walk. So rotate around the X axis and this is more about what it's going to look like. So perhaps we want to change the influence here to only a small amount, about that much. And perhaps put it up just a touch with that one. There we go. Hopefully this is giving you the idea. If you do find any awkward bits that you can't quite see, you can always put, turn on your sort of see-through mode over here. And these, this button here will show you the vertices and see-through mode there. will show you the vertices behind just in case you can't see them. And you can, if you want to, select just the faces with this mode here, and then you can only influence the area that you've selected, those faces you've selected. And that can be quite handy. And also, 
there is wireframe lastly so you can go to wireframe to see those points that you couldn't quite get to or make out okay so that's weight painting as simple as possible it's a bit of an art and there are obviously few more things that you can study and figure out for yourselves but nice and quick hope that helped